every moving vehicle, the power to stop can be as important as the power to go. That's why brakes are so important, and why it's well to understand what they do, how they do it, and what Chevrolet is doing to make ours better than ever. Brakes operate by converting the energy of motion into the energy of heat. They do this by creating friction between a brake lining and a drum, or a disc attached to the wheel. For any given speed and stopping rate, the heavier the vehicle, the greater the braking force required to stop it. Larger vehicles, then, need larger brakes. Chevrolet's objective is a brake system matched to the vehicle, a brake system that is balanced to the weight to be stopped. In 1974, Chevrolet light-duty truck brakes are matched by computer to the growth vehicle weight. This means that when a light-duty truck is ordered, a centrally located computer automatically selects the size of the brakes required for the gross vehicle weight rating of that particular vehicle. For instance, if the proposed purchaser of this Series 20 pickup with 400 pounds of options has said he intends to carry cargo up to 1,700 pounds, the truck for that job will get this size rear brake. On the other hand, if this C20 pickup with 800 pounds of options is being equipped to carry a 3,000 pound camper, it will get this size rear brake. Each truck gets the size brake that will do the best job for that particular truck and its particular load. There are many other Chevrolet brake values which your truck customers may never even see, but are most important. For example, the 13-inch brakes used on our base Series 30 model trucks have new linings that are thicker than before and are made of a new, more durable material that will help brakes to last longer. Here's another Chevrolet value. All Chevrolet light-duty trucks have front disc brakes as standard equipment. Disc brakes have exceptionally good fade resistance and recovery from water immersion. Even after a thorough soaking, they quickly regain most of their braking effectiveness. Chevrolet disc brakes also have dust shields to help keep out dust and grit. And this year, our disc brakes have been improved in other ways. For instance, the rotors used on the heavier rated Series 30 vans and forward control chassis have been made thicker compare it to last year's. Result, longer lasting brake lining life. All brakes tend to wear, but often the owner doesn't realize it until he's scored the drums or disc. But now Chevrolet front disc brakes, up to and including those for the base Series 30 models, have a special lining wear sensor that sends out an audible signal. When the lining begins to wear thin, this little clip rubs against the rotor causing a characteristic audible signal that you will be able to hear. It sounds like this. At this point, you're faced with only a relatively inexpensive normal maintenance operation. Obviously, if this audible signal is ignored, it will lead to a more expensive repair operation. For most effective braking, front and rear brakes should be matched to the front and rear weight distribution of the vehicle. A little valve called the proportioning valve takes care of it. On Chevrolet trucks this year, the proportioning valve has been redesigned and recalibrated so that it does its job much more precisely. Result, improved distribution of braking pressure front and rear. Another and very important improvement for 1974 is the use of a new type of power brake booster for the heavier rated Series 30 pickups and vans. Light-duty truck brakes operate on hydraulic pressure. When the brake pedal is depressed, the brake fluid is forced into the wheel cylinders, creating the pressure that expands the brake shoes within the drum or activates the pads against the disc to stop the wheel. A booster is a device that amplifies the force applied to the brake pedal, thereby increasing the pressure to the wheel cylinders. This is a vacuum booster. The chamber in front of the large diaphragm is connected to the intake manifold on the engine, creating a partial vacuum within the chamber. When force is applied to the pedal, the large diaphragm is drawn forward. 
multiplying the force and transmitting it to the master cylinder. This is our new HydroBoost power brake unit. It draws its power from the power steering pump, which is driven by the engine. When the brake pedal is depressed, hydraulic fluid is drawn from the engine-driven pump, multiplying the force applied to the pedal and greatly increasing the output of the master cylinder. The new HydroBoost is a more compact power brake unit, yet provides the higher pressure required for a heavier vehicle. To show you this, we have arranged for a demonstration at the GM Proving Ground where we have two trucks equipped with power brake units. This one is 8,200 pounds GVW with a vacuum booster. This one, 9,000 pounds GVW with a hydro boost unit. First, we'll try the vacuum type unit. By exerting 150 pounds pressure on the pedal, we produce about 1,300 pounds per square inch of braking pressure. Now, the new hydro boost unit. We exert the same effort as before, 150 pounds, but this time we get about 1,700 pounds of braking pressure, but with the same pedal pressure. Greater braking force with the same driver effort. What do all these improvements in 1974 Chevrolet brakes mean to you? Better braking capability, of course, but also you will get longer brake lining life. An all-new wear sensor that helps you avoid expensive brake repair operations. And a brake system computer matched to the gross vehicle weight of the truck. Isn't this the kind of value you want in your truck? The 1974 Chevelle wagons, with functional wagon space in a convenient midsize. Chevelle wagons are available in three models. The Malibu and Malibu Classic feature clean lines and classic Chevelle grille treatment. And the Malibu Classic Estate, with the new grille, translucent wood grain panels, and bright metal trim accents. Standard interior features include an attractive wood grain accented instrument panel, Chevrolet's power flow through ventilation, which constantly replenishes the air inside, plush durable cut pile carpeting, luxurious vinyl covered seats with full foam construction for comfort and support, and the classic interior has a convenient center fold down armrest as well. You can make your Chevelle wagon even more enjoyable by adding some popular options like air conditioning, or an AM FM stereo or tape system or the comfort tilt steering wheel that allows comfortable driving for all types of people. You can even order swivel bucket seats with or without a center console. For convenience, three seat wagons have the remote tailgate switch that allows you to open the tailgate from the driver's seat when the gear selector is in the park position. The quick lift tailgate lifts up and out of the way for easy access to the cargo area. Chevelle wagons have over 85 cubic feet of cargo space with the second seat down. With the second seat up, there's enough passenger room to accommodate six people comfortably. Or with the three seat model, you can seat two more people and still have space for cargo. Yet because they're midsize, Chevelle wagons fit easily into almost any garage. Every Chevelle wagon has built-in features you'll appreciate, like steel side guard door beams to protect passengers in the event of a side impact, front and rear bumpers backed by hydraulic pistons, and underneath, a special anti-corrosion frame coating to help protect against deterioration from rust. The wagon body is mounted on the frame with rubber mounts that help reduce road noise and vibration. Inside, Chevelle wagon safety features include a new seat belt system with ignition interlock, 
an energy-absorbing steering column with an anti-theft lock that prevents the wheel from turning without a key. And the hood latch is also inside to help protect the engine components from theft. But you can't really begin to appreciate a Chevelle wagon until you actually test drive one. Wagon suspension has been designed to provide good ride and handling. Standard features include bias belted tires, a front ride stabilizer, and an advanced full coil suspension with springs that are computer selected to fit the options and total weight of each car. Standard power front disc brakes provide resistance to the effects of heat and water. For 1974, the front brakes have built-in wear sensors that give out an audible warning when the brake pads need replacing. The standard drivetrain on Chevelle wagons includes the 350 cubic inch V8 engine with a three-speed manual transmission on the Malibu wagon and the three-speed automatic transmission standard on the Classic and Classic Estate. Or you can order the optional 400 cubic inch V8 or the 454 with dual exhaust. Other options that will enhance the handling of the Chevelle wagons are factory-installed power steering, steel-belted radial ply tires that provide long tread life and smooth cruising at highway speeds, or the posit-traction rear axle, which transfers the drive power to one wheel if the other begins to slip. With these and other options, it's possible for you to customize your Chevelle wagon to suit your own special needs. Seventy-four Chevelle wagons. Enough room to accommodate most of your work or leisure needs and the convenience of mid-size. Ask your salesman to give you a test drive and feel for yourself how pleasurable driving a wagon can be.